champion, Jamie and Martina Hingis, our mixed doubles champions. Wimbledon champion for 2013, Britain's Andy Murray. The first time that I was in here was in 2005 when Andy played David Nalbandian. The centre court would have been something that I would only ever have seen on the television. I can look across and see James Bond supporting my son and getting very excited. And I was sort of one eye on Andy and the other eye on, on uh, Sean Connery. I remember absolutely no, no pressure, no expectation. Who would have imagined that this would happen? But that was really what kind of catapulted Andy on his way to, I suppose, superstardom. And that's the last time that I ever sat in it where I didn't feel stressed. <laughs> Two thousand and seven, a massive year with Jamie winning the mixed doubles, which was unexpected. Jamie was only twenty-one, and he'd signed up for the mixed doubles just because he bumped into his partner Yelena Yankovic at the security bag check oh. by accident. And ten days later, they were in the final. And I remember sitting there when he was five-one up in the third set, talking to myself and going. Jamie's going to win Wimbledon. Jamie's going to win Wimbledon. I was trying to convince myself that it was really happening, I think, probably because it was it was so unexpected. What feelings do you go through when you sat in the seat? Oh, goodness me. A uh, mixture of... Um, heart attack and severe nausea all going on at the same time. It's difficult to explain to to anybody, you know, what it what it actually feels like, but I've always wished that I could enjoy it more. But I, f I feel the stress of it on their behalf. I know I can't do anything about it. It's that whole thing of wanting things to go right for your kids. When you're close to a tennis court with your kids on the court playing competition, going through all that crazy emotion that they go through in a tennis match, and you as a parent being able to keep the distance, I think it's the most difficult thing to do. It got worse as the boys got further up the ladder and the pressure of the expectation from the British public, from the media was huge and that made it less enjoyable. In 2013, when Andy won the singles, I was actually sat back there. Um, so not in the players' box, a couple of rows behind. Why was that? It's a really uncomfortable feeling that you've got people sitting alongside you who are supporting the other person. And if you're me, you, it feels like they're working against your child. Whenever you went to a tennis tournament or anything with her, she would always sit by herself. She would never speak to anybody. Um, when she was watching her boys. Having suffered the 2012 uh, final defeat against Federer, I didn't want that again. He was just so distraught because he felt he'd let everybody down. Of course, he got to the final of the thing he had dreamed about since he was a little boy. And of course, you never know if you're going to get that chance again. And he really was devastated. And of course, that's where the emotional support comes in from the friends and the family to try and pick him back up. But there was no picking him up for about four or five days. So for me, when Andy won, was it was total relief you know, rather than joy. It's one of the things I look back on and I wish I could have enjoyed it more. Where did he look first after the match? He actually looked up to the press boxes and he was giving it this one. As a young player, he, he really got torn apart for, for a long time. He managed to find his way up through the, cl the crowd and came to our side of the, the, the players' box. The reason that I stayed in my seat was that I'd had so many years of being branded the pushy mum, she's a nightmare, she's always pushing herself into the limelight, which I don't. And, you know, you get picked out in this player box because at Wimbledon there's no ad breaks. The cameras, the commentators, they need somewhere to go. I just wanted to go and give him a hug, but I just thought, I'll get the looker pushing her way in. He started to go back down again, and uh, and then everybody in the crowd started to shout, "What about your mom? What about your mom?" He was looking to see where, you know, to see where I was. Get back here, buddy. <laughs> what I can see of that now was actually how 
much the media had formed this opinion of me that made me think, I can't do that. I shouldn't say these things because I'm supposed to be working for Wimbledon. I'm just supposed to say the Wimbledon champion for 2013 is Andy Murray. I couldn't, I couldn't resist it. I had to say, we've waited 77 years for this because for me it was just such a momentous moment to have a, a British man at, uh, as winner of Wimbledon. And it's a moment I will never forget. And I remember looking up at poor Judy, who was just a crumpled mess. I can't imagine the emotion that she went through. It takes so much more than just that one player playing. You have to have a team around you. And the biggest supporter and, and biggest reason why Andy won that one was his mother. And it was so, oh, it was just such a special moment. I get teary eyed just thinking about it now. I mean, I never would have imagined them growing up in our little town in Dunblane at the local tennis club, that both of them would end up playing in Wimbledon finals, never mind being Wimbledon champions. It was a dream. It was a fulfilment of a dream, uh, winning, winning Wimbledon. Actually, it was great to be in Dunblane because the, the place was just a light. Who, who else has got a family like that?